Hey everyone, long story short, there are moments when you get stuck while using your iPhone and wish if there was a way out. Well, I'm giving you 10 super useful iPhone life hacks in this video today. So let's dive straight into it, shall we? Number 1. When typing something that is alphanumeric, meaning it has alphabets and numbers, it may be a color code for example, you can simply slide your finger from the numbers tab to the number you want to type and you'll be back to the main keyboard automatically. How cool is that? But this doesn't work if you have to type more than one digit. Keep that in mind. Number 2. Say your screen has a lot of cracks or you are just feeling lazy to tap on the screen. Simply ask C. Yeah, you know what I mean, right? Enable voice control. And now it's time for some magic. Open Safari. Scroll down. Show grid. Look at the number where you want to tap and say tap along with the number. Tap 9. Use your iPhone hands free from today. Number 3. If you are struggling with the network stability, maybe at your home or office or somewhere else, dial this code star 300 hash or pound 12345 hash star. Now look for the lines where it says RSRP0 which stands for your current cell tower and RSRP1 which is the closest backup tower by the way. Now minus 90 is the best signal strength and if the number is minus 100 the network is okay -ish. and if it's minus 110 your network is almost next to zero so roam with this in your hand and see in which corner of your house do you get the best network signal number four in safari to open a link you either tap on that link or long press and open in new tab from here but in both cases safari will redirect you to the link in a new tab and you had to come to your page back again for maybe checking out other links for example. So in settings, search for Safari and in the tabs section, tap on open links and change it to open in backgrounds. Now when you tap on a link, it will open in the background. Number five, if you also want to differentiate your photos from landscape and portrait, I mean you won't know it unless you open the image, right? But if you again tap on the three dots and choose aspect ratio grid, it will, it will differentiate the images between landscape and portrait, even videos. It's as simple as that. By the way, if you are finding my hacks useful, do give it a like and subscribe to my channel. Number 6. Would you like to silent your iPhone and get it back to ringer just by a single press? Like this. Maybe your ringer is not working or you don't like using it. So head to assistive touch in settings and select long press. You can assign to double press as well, it's your choice. Now select mute here. You can still use the side ringer on your iPhone with addition to long pressing here. Number 7. Talking about volume, it's really embarrassing when you are with your family or probably in a library and you open an app and a loud music starts playing from it. It would be Instagram or TikTok mostly. So for scenarios like these, we'll make a simple automation. Create a new automation in the shortcuts app, choose app. Then when open obviously, choose your apps and next. Now add action, search for volume, choose set volume and set it to be on zero. Next, disable ask before running and done. As you can see my volume is full at the moment. Let's open Instagram and now my volume is zero. There we have it. Number eight, I have made a separate video for notes app but I've missed these two life hacks in that video. So when you make a list using numbers, for example, and you want to make a sub list, it's so simple on the notes app, just swipe right for indentation and you can quickly make it as a sub paragraph or a sub list and swipe left to get it back in place. And if you double tap with three fingers, you won't be needing to use different gestures for copying or undoing and stuff. This menu will let you cut, copy, paste, redo, undo right from here. Number nine back to voice control this time in settings i'll tell you what this is about in a minute search for voice control then customize commands custom again create a new command add action first 
run custom gesture and here comes the fun part imagine you are clicking the shutter button of your camera and tap at that spot save it so i back add a phrase let's say cheese and done now whenever you want to click a selfie or even a photo ask s to enable voice control then say open camera position yourself and say cheese no need to hold your iphone in weird positions or click those hard side buttons to take a selfie on your iphone few that was long number 10 a very short yet useful life hack if someone's chasing you or someone wants to open your iphone forcefully by using face id just hold the power button and side button together till you see the shutdown screen and exit now the iphone can only be unlocked with the password and you are safe if you need more tricks for your iphone watch the video on your right or watch what youtube thinks is best for you on the left thanks for watching my name is mufaddal this is apple vibes take care and i will see you in the next video